Um, hi, good afternoon. My name is TK. Um, welcome to my session. Um, before I start, right, just do a quick survey. Um, how many of you operate an existing offline business? Right? So is it a retail base or distribution base? Retail base. How many operate a retail base? A distribution base? Okay. Uh, and how many don't have, how many of you have an online presence of your business? Okay, all right, thank you. So, um, a quick introduction. So, our company actually is based in both Penang and KL. Um, what we do is a little bit different, right? So, um, we are actually a software provider. Uh, we target brand manufacturers or distributors. Uh, and what we do is really we help them to digitalize their businesses, the front end part. Right, so uh, what I mean by that, that actually requires a little bit of explanations. So if you actually look at any brand, like let's say it is Henneken, let's say like beer or Samsung as phone, um, in order for them to sell their products to you as a consumer, there are really four distinct ways the products can actually flow to you, right? Um, what we have been talking all about this morning is primarily online, right? So. Online means you can sell to Lazada, Zalara, your own websites, Facebook, doesn't matter, right? So it's online. Um, but there's actually still a huge part of the thing that is happening beside online, um, which we call it first general trading, which means they probably will appoint a regional distributors that will then talk to all the small retailers in that regions, right? For example, uh, just hypothetically, take example of a brand called Samsung, they will have a KL distributors, a Penang distributors, or a Johor distributors, right? And that distributors will then talk to all the retailers in that region. So we call that GT, okay? So sometimes as a consumer, we may also walk into a big chain like Harvey Norman, right? We may walk into a big chain like uh, Tesco, and we still find Samsung phone there, right? So Samsung actually directly distribute the products to this modern trading chain. Okay. At the same time, modern trading chain also can have their own online presence. You can go to harveynorman.com and buy things there, right? So sometimes Samsung may also operate their own retail channels, right? So that's for this thing way a goods can actually flow from a brand to a consumers. So what we do is really we have various tools to really help them to digitalize their operation. Uh, the uh, more interesting here is really like for general trading, uh, we bring a consumer e-commerce like experience to B2B businesses. So now retailers, when you want to buy from your distributors, uh, your distributor will have a website. You just log in, you buy. Or there's an app for you to buy, right? So in that sense, this is the GT Solutions. For MT, um, it's a bit funny. What they do is that we supply their few people with mobile apps for them to be able to order when they actually visit the modern trading chains. Um, no matter what they do, uh, we have the capability to actually sync with their existing backend. Uh, where any of the ordering that is done will actually be integrated into their accounting systems or ERP backend. Um, and by able to digitalize all these transactions, we provide uh, on a real-time basis what is happening on all their trade activities. So uh, for today's sharing, I will primarily be focusing on the online commerce part, uh, where how we, what are the offerings that we have that actually kind of disrupt uh, the biggest problems of e-commerce, which is really when you buy online, you have to wait two to three days before you get your goods. So what we want to do here is having a set of tools that en enable you the experience of you buy online, you get a product in 30 minutes. Um, so we actually go into various sectors, um, FMCG, 3C apparels, et cetera, et cetera. And just to explain how we help customers are really companies like Samsung. Uh, where their distributors actually now deploy the systems for retailers, right? People who actually open a shop in Lao Yat, for example, now they just use an app to actually order from their distributors. Uh, similarly, Hennekin is operating the same models. We work with their distributors so that then now all the uh, small mom and pop like convenience stores, pub, is now using these systems to even place order from their distributors 24 by 7. Um, Companies like uh, Kitchenware, they are also using the systems, and 
toy company like Mattel are using a system to actually empower their modern trading operation as well. Okay, so this, um, if you're not working in any of the trade activities, uh, you may find it a little bit confusing, but it's fine, right? So, so let's look at direct to consumer, right? So today, if you want to go online, let's say you want to, let's say you operate an offline store or you are a brand or you are distributing products already and everybody is talking about going online, right? So you also need to have online store. Uh, what are the really options that you have for you to go online? First, you can set up your own websites. You know, you can buy Easy Store and then put your own domain name, uh, put all your products there. Then you have an online presence. That's option number one. You can put into, we call it a third party operated B2C marketplace. Uh, it's a bit bombastic, but what it means really is that companies like, uh, websites like Lazada, Lazada or Zalora, you can put there because those are really business to consumer marketplaces. Or you can actually put into uh, Harvey Norman, that's Harvey Norman websites. Or you can put into, we call that a C2C marketplace. So that will be places like muda.my because it is really C2C or eBay, right? So these are really all the options that you have if you want to sell your products online. Uh, be it you are retailers or be it you are a brand. Now, however, no matter which strategy that you think, these are really the problems, right? Number one, how are you going to get people to come to your websites, right? Building a website is actually very simple. In fact, you can just spend like, and, and the technology to enable you to actually set up an online store is getting extremely cheap. But how are you going to get people to come? That's the biggest problems. The second problem is about fulfillment, right? That's why companies like uh, EasyPuzzle exist. They actually streamline the entire fulfillment operations. But if you are actually a brand or you actually operate a few retail stores, um, the fulfillment becomes complicated. The third problem is going to be this term called channel conflict. Um, in my first voice, I show you there are really four distinct ways a goods can move, right? So if you are a brand and if you start to sell online, what happened to your existing trade channels? Because you do have all your trade partners on your existing channels. That will actually create this phenomenal call channel conflict, right? Because you are, you are applying various sales quota on your existing trade channels and while you're growing your own online presence. So what we think the solution to this problem is using a context called real-time e-commerce or we call it B to B to C, right? So the experience really goes like this, right? So imagine you have a distributor here and you have all the retailers and then you have all the hypermarkets here, right? So now you as a consumer, you go to an e-commerce website to buy things, okay? You go to like samsung.com.com or hennekin.com.com to buy beers or to buy phones. We have the system in place to then be able to broadcast to uh, the nearby because when you actually buy, when you actually place an order from e-commerce websites, you will enter the information of where you want the product to be shipped to, right? So using that information, um, we have a system that can intelligently route that orders to the retailer that is nearby your place or to a hypermarket that is nearby your place. And the fulfillment will then be done through that retail point. In the event where the retailer is not responding in time because they may not have the stocks, um, we, we will have this symptom called escalation, right? So it will get escalated into a distributors. So by doing this, a consumer, when they buy online, instead of being fulfilled from a central warehouse, the fulfillment is actually done by the nearest retail chain or, near, or the nearest distributor warehouse. Okay? Um, so just to reiterate, it's a website here, it will come here, um, and then um, we have this thing called a smart bidding with geocontacts. Uh, it can be set based on uh, postcode, or it can be set based on the nearest 10 retail store or the nearest 20 retail store, okay? And in the event where this guy is not responding, they will get escalated to so-called the master hub. We even bring this a step further, whereby if you actually want to bring your offline business to online, and if you don't want to invest in a fleet of people that is going to do the delivery, the system, we are already integrated with a few, not all, but we can easily integrate with all of them to actually leverage on all the on-demand logistic pro providers to actually come and pick up the goods from all these uh, retail stores and then just ship 
to our customers. Okay? If there's any questions, uh, you can just stop and ask me anytime, right? So. Um, so I'm going to run a very quick demo here. Um, I'll need a video to be in this computer, actually. Do I still have time? Yeah. Yeah, uh, but it's actually not here yet. I need to. Yeah, it's. Uh, but it's okay. I think we'll probably skip the demo part, right? Because I didn't put the video here. Right. Okay. So, um, if you actually look at how all this thing is being panned out, what does it mean to you who operate an offline store and when you go with this solution, right? First, it's really it helps you to reduce the user acquisition cost. What we find is that a lot of people, when they actually bring their business online, they will just rely solely on online to drive traffic. Okay, so what you will most likely do is you will buy Google Ads, you will actually buy uh, Facebook Ads, you will probably go to some websites to actually buy all the ad advertisement. It's actually very expensive, right? Because you have to spend a lot of money, you have to slowly optimize it. So if you already have an offline property, right? Why don't leverage on your offline properties? to drive your online traffic. And by pulling all these offline properties into part of the entire e-commerce ecosystems, you are now giving them a reason to take part in this and help you to drive traffic. And from that essence, we believe that it is able to help you to reduce the user acquisition costs. The next thing is about warehousing, right? Um, to operate an online store and then doing the fulfillment is a little bit different than the existing practice of you actually operate the offline businesses. So by leveraging on your networks of people that already carry your products, uh, this actually enable an, effect, an extremely effective warehousing uh, mechanism. Go back to the problem of channel conflict, right? If you already have an offline business and you go online, then they are actually cannibalizing each other. So, um, now you actually pull the offline properties into part of the online ecosystems, the revenue is now shared with them, right? But the trade term can be renegotiated, so that still passes the benefit of pricing to the consumers in that essence. And by doing this, everybody is happy, right? Because then um, the revenue is now shared across the existing supply chain. Fulfillment is now extremely efficient. Because if you actually rely on the traditional post laju or all the existing uh, uh, postal services, it takes one or two days. The fastest is two days. But by using the nearest retail chain to perform the fulfillment, you can actually fulfill in 30 minutes, right, in theory. And uh, last but not least is what we think everybody wins here. Because as a brand now, you, or as a brand, or as a manufacturer, or as a distributor, now you actually have an avenue of online. You have online channels to sell your products, yet you're not cannibalizing on your existing trade channels. And for consumer, uh, you actually get the products cheaper. You have a lot of choices because now everything is online. And you get your product really fast, in 30 minutes to one hour. So um, that's what I want to share today. Uh, thank you very much. Um, if there's any questions, then um, feel free to ask me. So if any questions, I'll be at the back there. You can just come and drop by. Uh, I'll be more than happy to share more uh, about the details of the implementations. Um, thank you very much. Exabytes. Grow your business online.